Hello, I am Sam the Stat Man. Come to you with another video. Today, I'm going to be ranking every player from the 1937 and 1938 Hall of Fame classes from worst to best. I will be combining these two, so I will be treating it like it's one list. I won't be ranking every player from 1937 and then every player from 1938. I'm going to be combining them and ranking them like as a whole. The reason I'm doing this is because there were only three players who were elected in the 1937 Hall of Fame class, and only one player who was elected in the 1938 Hall of Fame class. So I decided to just combine them and make them into one list. And like I said, I'm not ranking every player from 1937, and then every player from 1938, I'm combining them and treating them, treating them like one individual Hall of Fame class. And so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Number four, the worst player from these two Hall of Fame classes combined is Nat Lajoli. No, or Nat Lajoli, I always say Nat Lajoli. I don't know why. Now, just because Nat Lajoli is number four on this list, the lowest position on this list, does not mean he was a bad player. He was fantastic. In his career, he batted 338, 380, 466 with a 150 OPS plus. He had 3,243 hits, 82 homers, stole 380 bases, and had 107.3 war. He, in his career, he won a triple crown, three batting titles. He's just an all-time legend. Um, and it's hard to imagine that with more than 100 war being number four and like the lowest spot on any list. But these two Hall of Fame classes have been very, very good players. Number three on this list is Pete Alexander. He was fantastic. In his career, he won 337, a 208, a 2.56 ERA, and a 135 ERA plus. In 5,190 innings pitched, he struck out 2,198 batters and had one and a 1.121 1 whip. And uh, 119 war in his career. He won three triple crowns in his career, five ERA titles. He led in war multiple times, including having 12.6 war in what I think was um, 1920. I think it was. I don't know. Um, but all I know is he's a fantastic player and. He's just one of the all-time legends. He's definitely a top pitcher in all of baseball history. Number two is Tris Speaker. Tris Speaker is an all-time legend, and he definitely deserves to be number two on this list. He's just, he was just so good in his career. He batted 345, 428, 500 with a 157 OPS plus. He had 3,514 hits, 117 homers. He stole 436 bases. He had 134.24. He won an MVP. He won a band title. He is just amazing. Um, and you know what I just noticed, actually? Um, there's two players from my top five most underrated players list on the, this list. Pete Alexander and Trish Speaker. To be honest, Nat Lahoy is also pretty underrated. Um, but the reason these guys are on the, this list, like I said in my top five most underrated players video, um, the reason these guys are underrated is because they were overshadowed. By players like Walter Johnson, Ty Cobb, and Cy Young. Pete Alexander by Johnson and Young. Speaker by Cobb. Um, but they're, they were just phenomenal. And they do not deserve to be forgotten. Because they should not be underrated. They should be treated like some of the best players in baseball history. Which they are. And um, speaking of Cy Young. Number one is, well, Cy Young. Could I have put anyone else at number one? I just spoke about Cy Young in my um, Every Player from the 1936 Hall of Fame class rank from worst to best video. I said like they couldn't decide if he was an old timer or not, so they didn't vote him in that year, but they did vote him in this year and they definitely made the right decision. In his career, he went 5 11 and 3 15 with a 2.63 ERA and a 138 ERA plus. In 7,356 innings pitch. He struck out 2,803 batters, had a 1.130 whip, had um, 163.8 war, won a triple crown, and two ERA titles. He is just so good. He has an award named after him. I mean, he's a legend. He's he's not only the best player from this these two Hall of Fame classes combined. He's the best player. He's one. He's one of the top ten players of all time. He's maybe the greatest pitcher of all time. And I mean, like, that's all I can say about him. He's just an amazing player. He's, and he's just one of the best players of all time and definitely deserves to be number one on this list. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos with the um, ranking from worst to best of all of fame classes. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!